Hey SEO friends, I'm back with another cool video. Uh, this one's on Entity SEO. So, Entity SEO or Semantic SEO, real important. Um, definitely where SEO is headed if it's not already there. A um, couple of people have done great presentations on it, although I think it's still open to translation as far as what Entity SEO is. And I have some of my own thoughts as far as what I've seen. And, uh, you know, let's get into it. So, in my opinion, Entity SEO is the future of SEO. To best prepare your site or brand for Entity SEO, you need to have a full understanding of entities. Uh, Google says an entity is a person or place that is unique, well-defined, and distinguishable. So, basically, uh, being too vague on... Uh, business name or branding gonna hurt to me your entity is your defined online presence that proves who you are what you do and where you do it you can emulate others in your field to build your entity so you can research on other companies uh, brand and uh, follow suit if you believe that their entity is stronger than yours you can do more to strengthen your entity um, it is important uh, worthwhile to mention that Dixon Jones wrote a book uh, called Entity SEO from strengths to things it's $2.99 digital on Amazon it's worthwhile big brands have a predictable entity innovative brands have an impressive or surprising entities so a big brand would have you know real nice website potentially YouTube an innovative brand would span out to other places and have assets everywhere um, that'd be a worthwhile entity to follow suit. Um, a good or strong entity will be multimedia, cover many LSI keywords that define your niche, and are properly documented for search engine e engines using things like schema. Schema like same as, knows about, organization, local business schema. Entities can be niche specific, as a lawyer's entity would include uh, listings and ratings at AVO, Justia, and Fine Law. Signs of a weak entity, not owning page one for your brand. So if you search your brand, or, you know, in my case, my brand is Super Software. If you type in Super Software, you know, are all the links on page one talking about your brand? Or are they talking about, you know, smaller companies that share this, you know, similar name or same name, you know, whatever. Um... The other uh, sign of a weak entity is, you know, searching it in your area, not triggering uh, your knowledge panel. And third is if I do research on people within your entity or your brand or you, um, do I quickly and easily find out what you do and where? Um, another worthwhile entity tip is uh, that you can uh, build or be an entity by association. Um, research into data recovery, one of the things that I do, it uh, mentions EASUS. Um, EASUS is data recovery software. Um, very worthwhile in um, schema and maybe in articles, maybe in videos, to mention that James Slattery, part of, you know, the person, part of the organization Super Software, knows about EASUS. Uh, if you name lead gens for service times geo, um, you know, uh, Rockin County data recovery, um, it's tough to build an entity. So, uh, better choice, a brandable entity. So data sparks data recovery. So anytime that we search data sparks recovery, we should see stuff about us. Not a good entity builder would be Westchester data recovery because it's not as easy, easily discernible and it's not unique because it defines an area and a service, service geo. Um, think of your brand's entity as the online assets, worth mentioning, you'd hand over to a buyer of your business. So, um, you know, for me, it would be, you know, podcast, YouTube, uh, you know, large social media presence, etc. Um, you know, the, the schema, you know, within my site, you know, the things that define and hand feed the stuff to Google about what we do, where we do it, and who's involved. 
um, you know, just for my SC, my SEO channel here. Um, you know, you can start off your entity as a YouTube channel, but then you can expand it out to podcasts. You can expand it, you know, to a website housing the videos, you know, with schema, and then you can house it, you know, further brand it out to socials. So you build, and then you go, revisit, and you expand. Um, as far as tools to build entities, uh, InLinks clearly number one. Um, it's software, you know, very, you know, pretty darn expensive, but at the same time, extremely strong. So if uh, Entities is your target, InLinks is something worth looking into. But like I said, you know, very expensive. Um, it handles uh, content for Entities, InLinks, uh, you know, internal linking for Entities, and schema. Uh, a few other tools that uh, can help you discover and build your entity. Uh, number one, Nap Hunter. Um, when you enter into Nap Hunter, it's a Chrome extension. Your business name, your address, your suite, and your phone number, and click Hunt. It opens up like 10 uh, search tabs in Chrome, and it looks up your um, uh, entity. Uh, well, it looks up your Nap, but I mean, it starts to you know define your entity. And um, <clears throat> another thing is, you know, if you had five competitors that you're competing against and some were, you know, outperforming you online, worthwhile to search their naps through this tool and figure out, you know, how far does their entity expand and also, you know, do some searches like the Plepper local extension is also good because you can instantly look people up and then click for their schema. So worthwhile. It's a nap hunter. Um, Nap Hunter a little tricky to find and even a little trickier to install because uh, I think it's been decommissioned from uh, Google Chrome. Three more suggestions of uh, entity related research. Uh, your competitor's knowledge panel. So this is their regular knowledge panel. They have a listing in Wikipedia. Important. Google already pulled into their knowledge panel. Their Twitter their Instagram, uh, their LinkedIn, and their Facebook. And they've also uh, included that they're competing or, you know, similar entities, uh, Dell, Microsoft, and Cisco. Those are pretty good uh, <laughs> relations to this company. Um, the next one is for taking content and examining the entities and the content. And it's bit.ly slash blue mix demo. And you put in, you know, say your home page, and you click, you click to uh, check out the entities that are mentioned, and you want to see, you know, what entities are mentioned. You can do it with competitor content. Take their whole home page, pop it into this tool, and see what they're mentioning. You know, see what entities they're expanding out to. And they have other uh, things. I just showed um, the entities that they mentioned, and they mention, you know an organization, a location of business, and a location of where they do business. So worthwhile there, Blue Mix Demo. The last one gives less information, but I think it's more important information, and it's Google's own uh, knowledge graph uh, search. And under when you go to this URL, go directly to Query and query something like data recovery, right? And when you go to data recovery uh, and you do your search execute, you're going to look inside the schema here and the, you know, schema type stuff that's showing up in here. Um, I don't know if this, it doesn't appear to actually be schema. It, oh yeah, it does look like schema. Um, it, it's their knowledge graph information uh, on that topic, data recovery. And as you can see, as previously mentioned, you know, they start talking about software and Isus is in there. So you're going to, uh, you know, turn up a bunch of things in here that, you know, Google uh, relates in schema um, with, you know, entities. It, it's real worthwhile. You punch a couple of different keywords in there and see what Google thinks of them and what Google automatically says, oh, data recovery, ease us. 
that's uh, worthwhile. So a couple of things on entities. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think. Take care.